714 on a Monday. Mike is here. And now I guess it's time we figure out what to talk about. Hey, Dale. Before, we, hey, I, it was a nice 4th of July. Yeah, wasn't I it? enjoyed it. it I sure. did absolutely nothing, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I didn't do a whole lot, but it was a very nice weekend. And Put spark uh, plugs in my engine and new plug wires. Mm, lucky you, oh, huh? Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Did a little gardening here and there. Sweated a little bit. Yeah, the humidity was a little tough, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> to say the least. I was checking just a minute ago. We're at a 69% dew point. Add that to the humidity, and that means... It's going to be steamy today. It's going to be steamy, yeah. Yep. What's going on? Meta Mechanics, stay busy? Well, we were busy right up till Thursday night when we closed and went home. You know, I, We're going to be playing some catch-up today because we always do. We have a three-day weekend. But, uh, yeah, that's good. We need, we need to get back to work. Well, and that's why we're here, going to tell everybody about the good things at Meta Mechanic. And before we went on this morning, I got talking about uh, the aftermath of doing quick struts and bearings and tie rod ends and stuff on my vehicle and and the good job that Tony Slater did in realigning it with that hunter machine you have and uh, I'm I'm thrilled. I mean, I've got good tire wear and everybody that gets in, man, this thing's quiet, rides good. What'd you do? Quick struts, lime it at minute mechanic. Yeah, and, and your van's got how many how many miles on it? Almost 157,000. Yeah. And you know, this day and age, 157,000 is still a fair amount of miles on one, but it's 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 still very reasonable in what we see coming in. You will be amazed if you was up there how many vehicles we're servicing now with well over 100,000, and people are driving them everywhere they go. You know, mm-hmm. there's people driving across the country right now with 200,000 on them, and they're not worried for a second about oh, yeah. it. I, I mean, they're I'm good. They're, yeah, the vehicles are still sound, but what you ran into like with your van is you had some maintenance issues coming up. And uh, you nipped them all in the bud with one with one uh, visit, you know. Mm-hmm. You put on quick struts. Mm-hmm. You put in new wheel bearings and had the alignment. And then Tony found another tie rod that I needed. Yeah, had an inner tie rod or something along those lines that was loose. Those struts, you know, we've talked about struts on here before where, you know, struts are just a bigger version of a shock absorber. Mm-hmm. And you, you know, if you replaced them at 140,000 miles, those things were ready to come off of there. With a quick strut, you get a you get a pre-assembled strut with a brand spanking new spring and a new strut mount. The mount, that upper mount, is what mounts the uh, strut to the body of the car. Mm-hmm. And they those things wear out because they're, they're they're rubber, they're metal. There's a bearing in them, and they and like everything else, they wear out. And the wheel bearing that you re- you replaced both front wheel bearings, mm-hmm. and you went with Timken yep. bearings, which are a, a good high quality product, and Wheel bearings, my goodness, in 150,000 miles, how many revolutions do you think they made? A lot. A bunch. Yeah, a, a bunch. bunch. But uh, now think again of the weather they've been through. Sure. They've been through two or three bad winters down here and then a lot of rain. Yep. Hot weather, Hot cold weather, weather yeah. wet weather, dirt, dust, they've been through it all, you know. Mm-hmm. And so you, when you replace those bearings and you replace the struts, it made a big difference in, in the quietness in that van, the way it rides, the way it handles. Mm-hmm. And then Tony did that alignment on it. But we got those tie rods replaced and did an alignment. So the thing's back to driving like it did when it was new because yep. all those those new parts, there's no slack in, in the tie rods or anything now. And... Once you get that alignment set, unless something happens on there, you're, you're, you'll be good for a long time, and you'll see good tire wear. It tracks straight down the road, and the steering's tight, just the way that van was when it was new. Mm-hmm. And uh, in, in a lot of ways, it may even be a little better because some yeah. of these some of these replacement parts are very, very high quality, yeah. maybe better than OE. I think so, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt about that. Right. But I want to emphasize the fact, you know, if you've got a vehicle like mine uh, that's a little bit older and getting up in miles and think well do i trade it or do i fix it i did a lot of the work myself and i was able to do it for just under a thousand dollars right which in my opinion is not bad if i can put a thousand on this vehicle and drive it for perhaps another 50 to a hundred thousand miles i think i'm money ahead sure you are and you know Really appreciative to Minute Mechanic for the great work they did by I mean the alignment is just you can you can tell the difference. Let me tell you, you can tell a difference. I don't care if you're driving a General Motors product, Ford product, you will tell a difference in the quality of the handling of the vehicle. Sure. You know I we did a we got a customer coming to the shops, got a newer Jeep and we did some work on it. He put a lift on it and he put thirty five inch tires and I saw it over the weekend and 
uh, Tony had done an alignment on it. Man, those tires are wearing great, and that's Good. with a lift kit and and uh, bigger tires and all that stuff on on about a thirteen model Jeep Wrangler, four door Wrangler, and. A good alignment, and I mean a good one, and that's that's very the 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 quality of the alignment that we can do up there with that Hunter uh, Elite machine, Hawkeye Elite, is it, it's just ridiculous how precise the well, thing see, is. Well, see, that was my automotive training forty years ago, and to have that kind of equipment because when Tony had my vehicle, he opens the door, takes a little scanner, beep, it puts a scan bar in there, and brings up all of Chrysler's specs and any service bulletins that, hey, we screwed this up, you need to do this instead of this. The same thing with a Chevy, a GMC truck, a Chevrolet car, a Buick, a Pontiac, they're sure. still out there, Oldsmobiles. I mean, you got a lot of fine quality cars that were built well. <laughs> if you've got over 150,000 miles, take it in a minute mechanic and say, hey, I want it to drive like new. What can I do? Yeah, and it, it you know sometimes it'll surprise you. It costs a little bit, like you said. You bought those those quick struts and the bearings and did all the work yourself on that, and and it's fairly expensive. It costs you about a thousand bucks. But you know when you get to looking at new cars anymore, yeah, uh, yeah. a three hundred dollar a month payment is is just about. You know, I don't know. I shouldn't say pocket change, but it seems like if you can get away with a three hundred dollar a month payment on something, you've done pretty good. Mm-hmm. You know, I hear guys talking about five hundred and six hundred dollar a month payments on trucks and things in GMC suburb or mm-hmm. Chevy Suburbans and things like that. Well, you know, if you want a new car, by all means, get one. That's sure. why we go out and work every day. You bet. But if you think you can, you want to keep your old one. Well, you can take a couple of months worth of payments on some of these things, and uh, put it into the maintenance on that vehicle, and, and really be surprised at, at how good your, your car is going to drive out. Mm-hmm. Just like you're talking about with your van, you know, a thousand bucks, and all, and all of a sudden everybody gets in. It's going, wow, Dale, your dra- your van drives great. Mm-hmm. Well, well it, even Tony commented the day, you know, he took it down the road for the test drive, and he said it was the he was impressed himself. Yep, and but it's not that much in the overall scheme of things. If you can put that much money into one and then have it good for another fifty hundred thousand sure. miles, on. so think of uh, and as expensive. And I say this all the time: as expensive as tires are, go oh, price a set. Yeah, and you need to get all the mileage that you can out of those tires. I'm running Cooper CS fives right now. I really yeah. like them. They're nice and quiet and smooth. We see a lot of Cooper tires on vehicles that come in the shop. You know, they seem to be a very popular tire, and uh, they seem people seem to be happy with them. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, as expensive as they are, you know, and of course, you know as well as I do that when you have an alignment issue, it can cost you gas mileage. Now, it's not going to cost you tons of gas mileage, but over thousands of miles, it does add up. And then when you start, you add in uh, the shortened life of the tires that you have on there, you know, that's expensive. Well, and an alignment's not. Mileage, the front end's fine. Now, let's talk engine. Plugs, wires, if needed, coils, if sure. so needed, and the motor vac service you provide. Right. You know, again, there you are at 140 something thousand miles. You can stick a set of spark plugs in a vehicle, and uh, if the engine's running good, which yours obviously was, your, your, your van takes spark plug wires. A lot of vehicles anymore do not. You have to put coils in them mm-hmm. uh, if they need them, you know. Uh, hook up, do a motor vac where we clean the injectors. It cleans valves, pit the tops of the pistons. I mean, it does a very good job of cleaning carbon. And man, in, in, in that amount of miles, there's going to be a fair amount of carbon that has built up on the various surfaces in that engine. That The motor vac machine will do a wonderful job of, of cleaning that out. And I tell people, and I've not had anybody yet come back and tell me I was wrong, but I always tell people, you will notice a difference in your car when you pull out of the parking lot and you give it that first little bit of gas to go up the hill away from our shop Mm -hmm. you notice it and wow this is back like it was when it was new and and here's another one of those things in the automotive world that gets away from us because it happens gradually the carbon build up the injectors are not spraying the super fine mist like they were designed to do the carbon, you know, the General Motors, they had some of those older V6 engines. The carbon built up so bad it was hard to start them at times. Really? Because the injector would squirt gas into the cylinder and the carbon would absorb up all the gas. And you'd have to have several cranks on it to get it to start. Oh, wow. That's how much carbon was built up on some of them old 3.1, yeah, 2.8 yeah. GMs. Uh-huh. 
We used to do a lot of motor vacs on those things, and man, they would run good when you got done with them. Huh. Wow, they ran good. Uh, if, if you've got a vehicle with 100,000 miles, a motor vac will make a difference in it. It will make it run smoother. It will make it more responsive. And uh, Will you tie into the fuel rail on them? Okay. On almost all of these vehicles now, there's a place where we tie into the fuel rail, and we disable the fuel pump in your car by pulling a fuse or maybe pulling a relay out. And your engine actually sits there and runs on our machine. It puts in, you know, we, we adjust the fuel pressure on that machine to 40 PSI, 35, whatever it is. And it sits there and runs on it. And it takes about an hour or so to do this job. And the detergent that runs through your, your engine is a water-based detergent. So when it goes into the cylinder and burns, it turns into a steam. The steam will also do a, a, a bit of a job of cleaning off your O2 sensor and things like that. It's hmm. it's a very thorough system. It originated in, in California when they were having trouble getting cars to pass emissions. And then it spread around the country, and it has been a very high-quality product for us. And it, it's like, again, I've had nobody come back and tell me that it didn't work. And we've been doing these things for 10, 15 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I tell you what, there's all kinds of tricks of the trade that will help you keep your car lasting for a good long time. Maintenance. Yeah. Periodic maintenance. And, I, you know, you don't have to be working on these things all the time. The, the cars we have now are lower maintenance than anything I've, I remember, and uh, probably you too. Mm-hmm. So you, But they do have a periodic maintenance that needs to be done on them. And it's in your owner's manual. Take a look at it. See what all is prescribed in there, and, and, and you can follow the mileage that's in there. You can shorten it. You can do what you want. It's your car. But there is a maintenance schedule in almost in all these owner's manuals that gives you an idea of the mileage and what you need to do at that mileage. Maintenance on general motor vehicles that have the new additive to the motor oils? The Dexos? Dexos, yes. Yeah. You have that available. Oh, absolutely. We have uh, several brands of oil that are Dexos approved. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things that it's all synthetic oil or semi synthetic that does that. I have not seen any 100% petroleum oil yet that has, has met Dexos approval. It's uh, semi synthetic or synthetic. Mm-hmm. We keep Mobile One. In that man, that, that's a good oil, and we sell a lot of that to people. We also have a Pennzoil product that's a semi-synthetic, and it is also Dexos approved, and it's a little bit, little bit cheaper than the than the Mobile One stuff. But it's good oil, good life expectancy on it, and uh, it, that's what. If your GM car is built after about about like 2011 or after, look on the look on the oil cap. And it says right on it, Dexos, if that's what they want in it. If it doesn't say that, then I don't, I don't think they, that's mm-hmm. required. And uh, from what I'm understanding, General Motors is fairly picky. They want that. If they want, if they say Dexos, then we need Dexos approved oil in it. Yeah. Otherwise, it could adversely affect your your warranty if you if you have engine issues. And, and they can prove that it came from an oil-related problem. Yeah, they can because oil samples can be pulled. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Minute Mechanic is on Highway 201 North across from Salvation Army. You keep all major brands of oil, and you have a top-quality oil filter in stock. We sure do. we got a bunch of oil sitting up there, and Quality Petroleum will be there today to dump off a bunch more pins oil. And uh, we keep filters for about everything. Uh, once in a while, you'll stumble into something we don't have, but if, if that's the case, I bet we can have it in just a few minutes. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you have an odd car, a lot of the European cars, and I don't mean odd, I just mean just something that we don't normally see in Mountain Home, Arkansas. But if you're driving a European car, Volkswagens and Audi, things like that, give Exotic. me a day. Yeah, give me a day's notice. Call me the day before yeah. and make sure I can get the oil filter there, and I'll have everything waiting on you. Makes mm-hmm. it real easy. And when you get in for that uh, oil change, they'll check the tire pressure. They'll check everything underneath the vehicle and bring it to your attention if need be. Right. You know, we we get into there, and and while we're underneath the car, we're looking for leaks. We're looking for issues. Tire wear. uh, Air up your tires. Look for leaks and things. And then we check your fluids and filters under the hood. And if it has a cabin filter, we take a look at that and look Mm -hmm. at your belts. Yep. 
Yeah, belts are another biggie. That's another show right there. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole other show. And one of these days, it's going to get really, really hot around here. Yeah. Like, it, you know, it, it, well, it's August. Yeah, once August gets here, it may be a scorcher. <laughs> Men Mechanics located on Highway 201 North across from Salvation Army. 425-3135 is their phone number. They'll be there 8 to 5, Monday through Friday this week. So give Mike and the gang a call. They're eager to serve you. Mike will be down there about 8 o'clock. Time for the news. We'll be right back. 